looking for a creative way to store stuff on your fridge? Take plastic cups and hot glue some magnets onto the side. Once you're done, you can store all kinds of stuff on the side of your fridge. Pencils, markers, milk, you name it. Yeah, just smear the glue all over the side of it. I'm sure that'll look then great. put it there. Squeeze, squeeze. It looks like a car. Um, oh, okay. That's not a bad idea. Oh, <laughs> oh. <laughs> that <was a> <laughs> No, that's, that's actually a very great life hack. This next hack is actually on the more useful side. Because let's be real, all these hacks are extremely useful. That didn't make any sense, but I'm rolling with it. Sometimes you just want to enjoy egg whites without the yolk. Take plastic water bottle, squeeze it in the middle before dipping, and you'll be able to suck that yolk right out of there. Like a golf ball <laughs> through a garden hose. I've seen people do this before. This is actually a real life hack. Whoa. Whoa. Wait, no way. This is a real Rewind thing. Rewind it. I, Wait, I need to see that again. <laughs> We did this in like science class. That was cool. Ooh, it's a girl egg. All right, let's see if this works with Hatchimals. Man, these Hamachi shells are strong. Hatchimal. I did it again. Man, these Hatchimal shells are strong. I got the shell in there, gross. Ew. Get rid of the cat, come on. No one wants a cat in their egg. Wow, I wow. can't believe that worked so well. It. Guys, this is a better love story than Twilight. We're gonna let Period Chandler read this next one. As you guys know, he's guest starring this episode, so here you go, Period Chandler. Looking for a way to enjoy your soda in moderation? Take the cap off the bottle and drive a nail into it four times. Once you're done, you can now squeeze your soda instead of pouring it. You'll probably get tired from having to do all the extra work, so you'll end up pouring less, thus live a healthier life. Thank you, Period Chandler. Very cool. Very good. This next hack will help you keep track of your pencil in the kitchen. Take a regular tennis ball and slice it open about halfway. That can't be safe for his hand. No, yeah, but what if a child is doing it? You need the glue, right? Oh, yeah. Uh, oh yeah. He needs his knife sheath. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> then take some googly eyes and stick them on. Now you have a face. Top it all off by hot gluing a magnet on the back, and you now have an adorable pencil holder. Subscribe and be sure to talk about your favorite hack in the comment section. Mm. It sounds like Carl Weezer. Oh my god. <laughs> he put it on the fridge. It's so cute. <laughs> it is. Honestly, this is a really good life hack. This should go at the beginning of the video. Man, soda bottles are just the worst. I mean, look at that. It's so cold he can barely touch it. Whose hand is that? By adding in the protective layer of the average shoe, you can now enjoy your soda in glorious comfort. You also get the added benefit of having to only wear one shoe, which Come on guys, free the nipple. I think the real issue here is that it's Fanta and he can't touch it because no one likes touching Fanta, it's disgusting. Chandler's taking over the script. Having Sorry, a Chris. flashlight on your smartphone is super convenient, but sometimes it can be a little overwhelming. Take an ordinary quarter and cover one of the sides with, you guessed it, a hot baby glue gun. After it's dry, remove the glue from the quarter and slap that sucker over the light of your phone. Now, your flashlight is much more subtle. There you go. Guys, let us know what you rate Chandler. Church Washington knew this would happen. He never would have left England. Ooh. That looks like E.T. What's the point of that? So you can phone home. Get it? Hey, fun fact, guys. All right, Connor, pull up, put up graphics to support what I'm saying. Did you guys know that uh, there's a two-month period where the Earth is on the... Uh, exact opposite side of the sun as Mars and so we can't communicate with the rover like two months every two years and it's because we're on opposite sides of the sun and we can't send uh, waves through the sun which means if there is a civilization on Mars because of Elon Musk uh, there will be times where we can't actually talk to them for a two month period and like what if when they went on the other side of the sun like they all started killing each other and by the other time they came out the other side they were all dead and we never knew why and it's like Roanoke Island all over again. I, I think we should make a movie on that. Don't you hate it when you want to steal your bag of chips, but don't have any clothespin laying around? Well, now you can cut off the end of a pants hanger and use that to steal your munchy snacks. All right, we have a coat hanger. Some hefty duty I scissors. feel like this would actually, I mean, be pretty effective. I bet you, no joke, I bet it's cheaper to buy a coat hanger and cut those two things off than to buy those. Oh, ones. definitely. You can buy like a pack of coat hangers. For like, for like literally oh. 50 cents, yeah. yeah. And you can oh. <laughs> yes! That's yes! So good. <laughs> out of 10. This next hack is for the people who suck at tennis and want to cause their more talented opponents physical harm. It's also very similar to, you know, if your kid's fat and you want them to lose weight, so you put it on the cookie jar. Take a regular tennis ball and hot glue some razor blades onto the sides. Yes, this is similar to the other hack these guys did with cardboard fins, but now this one is more deadly, so it's different. Because the deadliness of a life hack is what differentiates them. Um, that's a bad idea to throw it. 
Oh. Uh, got a bunch of plate and candlesticks holders laying around? Then this hack is definitely for you, fam squad. Glue a candle holder to a plate. Then glue another plate to the candle holder. Another candle holder on top of that. Now top it all off with a little bowl. Once complete, take a giant bottle of chocolate syrup and pour the entire thing into your fountain. You now have a DIY chocolate fountain perfect for dipping. Yummy. Oreo? Are you gonna dip an Oreo in a chocolate? Ew! Oh man, this is it. You finally got those secret launch codes, but you have no way of storing them in case you forget what they are. Just fold up the paper and set it aside for now. Take a regular USB flash drive and bust it open with a hammer. Remove the insides and you have a perfect place to store your secret codes. You'll be surprised at how well this actually works. I feel like there's much easier ways than grabbing a hammer and busting over a paper clip. Nope, easiest way. Gotcha, gotcha, cool. Cut to a picture of a class, a kid with a hammer, and like that little cat, white background, bongo cat banging open a flash drive. Don't you hate living in a smelly apartment? This guy surely does. Take some surprisingly unbouncy bounce dryer sheets and duct tape them to your box fan. Now your entire home will smell like laundry day. <coughs> Bless Whoa. you, Chandler. I mean, people hey, can. Chandler's allergic to air freshener. Uh, I'm gonna need you to calm down there. Those dryer sheets are killing me, man. I bet that actually does smell really good. Why wouldn't you just like spray for breeze in front of it? I kind of want to test that. Ever find yourself jotting down complex algebra equations and foolishly screw up the solution with no eraser on your pencil? Yeah, because I'm dumb and no one loves me. Exactly. Same. You can't just rewrite the whole thing. Look at that. Just take a regular slice of bread and rub it over your mistake until it's gone. There you have it. Bread works as an eraser. Boy, I bet my parents wish they could do that with me to cover up their biggest mistake. Speaking of bread, I think we need to disregard females and acquire that currency. Dude, that's more effective than the erasers I had in high school. Chopping your banana is already a pretty boring task. But don't you hate when your cutting board just won't stop sliding around? It's just plain dangerous. Fix this problem by taking some ultra strength Velcro and sticking one side onto your countertop and the other onto your cutting board. Now that cutting board isn't going anywhere. And you also have a piece of Velcro on your counter forever. I mean, who doesn't want that? I like my shoes to have Velcro. I would also like my counter to have Velcro. Kids are so stupid these days, you can't trust them with anything, especially knives. You can lay your worries to rest by child-proofing your knife with some all-American hot glue. Th this sounds like an amazing idea. Mm -hmm. Just squeeze a ridiculous amount of hot glue on your dangerous blade to the point where it won't be able to cut through anything ever again. And just like that, your knife is useless. Kinda like me. But at least your kids are safe, who are also useless. Kinda like me. How about you Chandler, are you useless? No, I'm irrelevant. Looking for a way to spice up your oatmeal, but only have plain old white sugar? That was an aggressive Here. slam. <laughs> I'm going to need to compare this aggressive slam with the aggressive slam from the egg. And I also want to compare the aggressive slam of the bacon. And I also want to compare that with that other aggressive slam. Alright, everyone comment. Which was your favorite aggressive slam? I love brown sugar. Oh, do you? Yeah. Take a large bag of brown kinetic sand and mix in a spoonful or two. And there you have it. Brown sugar. Brown sugar! Don't you hate it when you can't stop losing your keys? If only there was a way to stick them in one place. Just take some Velcro, cut out an approximately sized piece, and stick it onto those little boogers. And he bought Velcro branded Velcro? Wow. It's like buying shoe branded shoes. It's like buying an American flag from America. And then stick the other piece next to your door and you'll never have trouble finding your keys again. Are you a fan of ice cream but hate having to use that pesky spoon? Just take that leak proof Ziploc bag and dump in the entire pint. Not even joking, like I haven't had ice cream in months and now I kind of want some. If you want to know about ice cream, just watch the last video. We gave you an in-depth analysis on how it was made. So then what, he just jabs a straw into there? That's exactly what he does. <laughs> okay. Wow. Now you can shove a straw into the bag and you can have all the ice cream you want and burn even up fewer calories while you eat it. So if you can't find the end of a piece of tape, you have to grab another roll of tape and tear off the end of that to find the end of that. But then if you need to find the end of the roll you just tore a piece off, you even need to get another roll and tear a piece off and put in that roll. And you need another roll to tear a piece off and put in that roll. And it's a never ending cycle. And that's why Wanda and Cosmos are here to save the day. This is a genius life hack. Cosmo and Wanda ain't fooling me, boy. Oh my goodness. <laughs> that is Cosmo and Wanda. They ain't fooling me. Oreos are already delicious. I will fight you if you disagree. To the death. But now you can make them even more amazing. 
Twist off that boring icingless cookie and only hold on to the good stuff. Once you have an even number, stick those bad boys in the freezer and leave them overnight. The next day you'll have some double stuffed Oreo ice cream sandwiches, you're welcome. What was it necessary to put it in the freezer? So it'd be icy. So oh, you so could call it an ice cream yeah. sandwich. Honestly, I think he's purposely making every hack food just because he wants food. <laughs> <laughs> I just eat some Oreos today for work. If I gotta work, I might as well eat Oreos. Canned green beans are literally the best. Who doesn't love popping up in a whole can and just going to town? But wait, this guy forgot a spoon. Mission failed. We'll get him next time. This is a tragedy. But fear not, you can just take the lid and fashion it into a perfect spoon substitute. Wait, you don't eat raw green beans? No, it's very dangerous to use the lid because the lid is like has like cut and no, flakes in the middle. Chopping carrots is already hard enough. I mean, sometimes you just need help being more accurate. Take a regular laser pointer and stick that onto the handle of your knife. Now you'll be able to chop your veggies with extra precision. Honestly, this seems pretty epic. It's like aimbot, but for cooking. <laughs> <laughs> You're supposed to jab it, man. <laughs> you lunge after the, the dot. <laughs> That's it for the video. We're about to play rock, paper, scissors. Remember, Whenever you click on a Mr. Period Beast video, always watch to the end. Because at the end of every video, we play rock, paper, scissors. People that don't play rock, paper, scissors, their parents don't love them. So, get your, get your thing in your hand. Rock, paper, scissors, shoot. I chose paper, you chose rock, take an L. Alright, for this next one, I choose rock. Whoa. Wow, I can't believe you've done this. Alright, we're tied. This one's for the dub. Rock, paper, Scissors, shoot! Well, that was super easy. Subscribe or you're a failure.